Well, hello. Hello. What nice music. What nice music. Uh, thank you, Epidemic Sound, for the music. Uh, and and you're welcome for the money. Uh, ready! Hi there, ready? Welcome. Yes, it's Christmas time. Christmas time. And uh, as anyone who obsessively follows me on other people's discords will know, I did not get my Christmas decorations this year. Um, because Royal Mail decided to deliver them to someone else. And did not... Did not do a good job of helping or doing anything about it at all. So it's, I like how this suddenly went into groovy Christmas music. I didn't, I didn't plan this at all. I have a tree and blender. Job done. I have, I have a picture. Uh, I, I used this photo from Pixabay for for a video that I was putting together, uh, and and I, I like it. So I want to, I want to try and re recreate some of this. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a lovely fake tree. You can kind of see the plasticky shade on the the tree bits. Uh, I've been Christmas cocked. <laughs> Christmas is cancelled because uh, I didn't get my Yogg's cast decorations. Uh, hey, it happens. It happens. Uh, so yeah, I, I've I've given no thought to this. I had like I I thought of doing this like 15 minutes ago. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Uh, hey there, Chaotic. Welcome. Um, I should mention I shuffled some of my emotes around, so they're follower emotes now. Um, I don't know how long ago I got follower emotes, but I have follower emotes now. Spoust! Spoust is here. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, all right. Tree. Now, I think I added an add-in for a tree a while back. Do I have a tree generator? I'm sure I added something for that. Uh, profiles, spirals. Oh, oh, was that it? Was that it? Sapling tree gen. You don't see it? No. Ah, uh, look at that. There's my tree. There is my tree. Done. Easy. Uh, whew. That's, that's a much bigger tree. Hey, these are cool. I've, ne I've never played with this. Small maple. I mean, the the Douglas fir is a traditional one, right? I've I've just gotta make it smaller. Um. And uh, can we make the branches longer? There we go, more branches. What do those do? Oh. Uh, ah, okay. Conical shape. And branch rings. Oh, nice. Okay. Can I... How did that end up with a negative scale variation? Rescale 1. This is probably the worst possible way to do this. Whatever, there's my tree. I have a tree now. So, how do I decorate it? For actually, first, I want to. Oh, look at all of those. Uh, let's scale it out. That spoil it? There's a shortcut somewhere that'll keep that centered for me. Okay, somehow I've got to make all those branches have... Um, I reckon... 
Uh, if I add a geometry node to this, it's probably... This is my normal go-to now, because this is just way more fun than actually modeling stuff. Is use a geometry node to come up with all of the the extra effects that I want. Uh, so what have I got right now? It's already points. You're not meant to be points. Hmm. Hmm. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's try. Uh, let's convert to a mesh. Now, if I can, I want to select the trunk. And make this a group. Let's say trunk group. And ah uh, no, don't assign. Remove branches. Branch branch minus branches. Okay. Oh, there's my trunk. There's my branches. Never use geometry nodes. There. They're fun if you like coding. If you like pro, like it's basically programming. Uh, you can you can do some very cool stuff, or you can just spend a whole lot of time messing around and not actually do anything useful at all. Uh, let's let's create the tree using a particle <laughs> system, though. We'll, we'll give it hair instead. Give the tree lots and lots of hair. For <laughs> people, ready. Uh. Okay, source, emit from, now we should be able to, can I not, oh, uh, vertex groups, density, branches, so now we get no, nothing from the trunk, lots of children, quick preview render, just to see how it looks. Um, looks weird. Looks weird. Hmm. Maybe if I make lots more, this be two segments each. Glimmer's <laughs> tree. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know, it's possible that by the time I make these green, it's going to look okay, right? Clumping? Parting? Clumping? I don't... I'm not good with all these settings. Not good with all these settings. Uh, material. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and make. Um, what do you call those things? Needles. Needles. We're going to make. What a grin! It actually looks. I think that actually looks surprisingly good. I'm I'm already impressed at myself. Um, and I'm going to need a second slot here for the trunk. Let's assign you that one. Now you can just be dark brown. Fix that camera up a bit. Music makes me feel like I'm not going fast enough.
Run, run, run. Look at that. It's a, it's a Christmas tree. I'm like half done already. I'm like nearly finished. <laughs> that, that tree was a good find though. That tree was a good... It looks a bit weird up there, but I mean... It's a fake plastic Christmas tree, right? They always look a bit weird. Needs a bigger trunk. Yeah. I already scaled that whole thing out a bit. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I do that. Do... I don't think I can make it bigger now. I think it's... I think it's kind of stuck. How it is. Uh, but you know what, I'll just make sure that, that the final... the final picture, the final shot, does not include the trunk. How about that? Yeah, because you know, there's no presents. There's not, I, I don't know if anyone told you, but there's no presents this Christmas. Uh, just a tree. Just a tree with some fake decorations. So you don't need to see the bottom of the tree. Because there's no presents there anyway. Oh, that... That was not what I expected. Yeah, sorry guys, no presents. Wait, some of that looks so weird. Some of that looks so weird. Uh, you're a good chat. You, you got some follower emotes. That's what you got. Merry Christmas, chat. Uh, and in fact, Raddy, that's, those are now emotes that you can use anywhere, because follower emotes are all over Twitch. I don't know why they didn't say anything about that, but they work everywhere. So, if you're subbed to someone, you can use their follower-only emotes everywhere. Uh, let's see if I can... Spread out. I want to try and, and spread out where... Advanced? Um, I got no idea when Twitch changed that, but I, I forget what I was typing the other day, and I'm like, that's, it's like, like, that was my reaction when I figured it out. Uh, and closely followed by that. Because, I guess I was really sad when Harry took those emotes away, but, but now, now I have them back. <laughs> uh, how can I get this to be a bit more... Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's this, um... Because I did the children. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's... Uh, that's maybe not better. It's a little bit weird. This is a jam? What's this song? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe this just looks okay. Ah, oh, look at that! Look at that! What a beautiful Christmas tree! It's... <laughs> it's... It, it looks like a cheap store-bought one, yeah. Yeah, it... it eek. Um, okay. What happens if I... Roundness? What does that do? That's a little bit, it's, it's, that's, that's handy. It's a little bit handy, I'll take some of that. Uh, Twitch does need an indicator for follower emotes. It's not real clear. Uh, let's randomize, that does nothing. That's true, that's true, it doesn't matter much now. These settings don't even seem to do anything. Clumping, clumping, uh, less clumping? Uh, yeah, no clumping, please. 
twists. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yep. Yep, those are my follower onlys. I, I made them follower only uh, when I found out you could use them anyway. So, there you go. Enjoy. Roughness. Uh oh, what's that? Is that more realistic? So hard to see these. about now oh that looks good that looks good it's gonna look better with decorations on it but it looks good very furry Christmas tree uh, very hairy Christmas tree Just let it finish before I switch back and try and do anything else because I know how often stuff breaks in this if you don't let it finish um, let's just bring it down render a few fewer so it's not quite so hairy but let's go even less a bit more space it's made out of wool and I'm a borrower yeah, I've got to tweak the texture a bit to make it a bit more plasticky. I like these bits sticking out the end because I mean, like mine has those bits sticking out the end as well, and they just it's just, they just poke out and are not kind of realistic Christmas tree. Uh, let's also while I'm here. Dim the light a little bit so it's a bit more realistic. Cool. Actually, it looks better with way, way less. Way, way, way less. Let's come all the way down to here. Uh, okay, so back to the reference shot. With colored indicators on the interior ends of the branch. Yeah. Oof. I don't know. Hopefully, once I get it clogged up with all these ornaments, then it won't be at all obvious what's what's all the way in the middle. Um, I should probably start with the lights. Are the lights going to be the hardest. Uh. I kind of want to do. I, I want to do this Merry Christmas. I want to start with this Merry Christmas because I think that's going to be. A more interesting thing to do. Uh, text. What's uh, what's that going to be? Rotate around there. Text. There we go. We go halfway there. Uh, let's check out what fonts I have available. Kind of sack of <laughs> puts ornaments on before lights. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I look, it's Blender. We can do whatever we want. We're not bound by the restrictions of the real world here. Uh, that's that's not a bad. I might use that for another one. I might use that. I mean, you know, if I was a real streamer, then I'd be like taking donations and putting chats names in there. But but I'm not, so I'll just stick your name in there anyway. Uh, I use that one for doing names. Who has a Christmas like this? Uh, is that really all the fonts I've got? Okay, we're gonna do. That's not as sexy looking as I was hoping. What do you mean? Of course the milk goes in before the cereal. Cut. 
Kappa. Uh, I do legitimately argue with people about whether you should put the the jam on before the cream on scones, because apparently that's a thing around here. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. I think that's just incorrect. Um, I don't want to center it like that. Cream, cream for slash ban spoused. Uh, what? How? How are you meant to spread the jam if there's already cream on there? It doesn't work. Like, if your cream is as thick as butter, sure, but call it butter. It's not cream. <laughs> Uh, what was I looking for? I want geometry. A little bit of thickness. It's, it's still a really big Merry Christmas, isn't it? That's a reasonable decoration size. Never had scones in <laughs> You went with the butter logic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Chaotic. <laughs> go, go get some cream out of the fridge then. Ooh, offset. Uh, you know, just a slightly sharp edge, slightly sharp edge. Oh, maybe I do want to properly set. I need a really big C. Maybe I do want it properly centered though, since the other one does it. Uh, okay. Let's now get to shading. Gold sparkle. So we'll start with the gold color. Let's stick it on the metallic setting. Uh, and to make it sparkle, I'm going to use white noise texture on a bump map. Into a bump map and stick that in the normal. And that should do absolutely nothing. Why do, how does that, how can that do nothing? White noise, you're meant to be like really noisy. I need to be on that setting. Just hide the tree for now. Okay, let's try a different type of noise. Let's do a noise texture. Okay, it's noisy. Uh, spread the jam on scones or just dollop it a bit while I do the cream when you do the cream. Yeah, that's a really good question uh, I spread the jam first and then plop the cream on Which is you know definitely the Australian way to do it The detail is making no difference There we go. It's not really glittery though. Um, how can... Let's turn the roughness down. Ah, uh, there we go. Getting a few sparkles in there. It's probably going to be just fine when we stick it in the tree. Once I bring the tree back. New Merry Christmas logo. I 
one's a big Merry Christmas sign. Uh, oh, cool. Suspicious user marking. They're already being monitored. Wow. Cool. Uh, all right. Look at that. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to open there. Dev tools. A bit of ray tracing on my Merry Christmas sign. Triangular scones. I have seen those. That I get. Yeah, those those do feel more like sandwich type scones. Uh, I always grew up with the the round ones. My mum made them really tall, so like you'd pick it up and just like snap it in half and you'd get a perfect break. Uh, it's not quite as shiny as I like, but it might not be in a good position. Yeah, look at that. Let's stick it further back in the tree so it's further behind the light. And actually pretend it's like hanging off that bit. The merriness of Christmas is gone. It's now dug right in the back. Uh, the close round logs, melted butter on a biscuit, and then add jam. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's butter, jam, and then cream, and only ever like butter or cream, not both. Uh, though I can't say I disapprove that much of doing both, but it's it's just it's still not quite right. about that? Is that less hidden? Uh, I can see the Merry Christmas in there. It's a little bit deep. Once I get some lights, then it'll be a bit more obvious. I hope. Hope. Uh, let's, let's do another one like that. Let's do another gold. Let's do another gold one. What's this one going to say? Uh, it's a Christmassy thing to say. Have any others there? Nativity scene? Oh, do I really want to model that? Joy. Let's just make one that says joy. Uh, in a different, equally cheesy font. What was that one? Comic Sans. Comic Sans makes an appearance. This is where I'd put my ornaments if I had any. Yeah, I know, Sag. Uh, okay, let's let's make a red sparkle one. Sitting on that branch. Let's try and get it. That one. Kind of stuck to it a little bit, hanging. That's how I should have done the other one as well. Let's figure out exactly where this one is hanging onto. It looks like that. Let's go there instead. <laughs> Grab the images of the youngster. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make a memorial to my decorations that were never delivered. Well, that red sparkle looks good. 
Okay. Uh, I wonder if I've got a bleb picture handy. Can I import picture from clipboard? No, that would be handy. Uh, thank you, Raddy. Uh, now I should be able to do images planes and get Bleb. Larger one. That's going to be large enough. It is going to be large enough. Let's hang him on that one. Get over there. Why is it see-through? Why why are you see-through? Alpha none. Oh, I guess it is slightly see-through, isn't it? Um I wonder if I can do that with the transmission. Here we go. Let's let's have the light shine through slightly. Uh, let's turn the roughness down so it's a bit shinier. Take that alpha off completely. Um, stream not modeling the hanging loops for the ornaments. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll come back and do loops later. Come back and do loops later. Um, what do I want? I want, um, let's, let's do one of these, just L, no, no, that's not what I wanted, um, convert, separate color, oh, this is, this is new, this is new, uh, let's make it, Saturation, lightness, and I'm going to make a normal map out of the hue. Um, bump map. It's a, it's a little bit inconsistent there. Well, if I soften this a bit. Get a bit of shine. It's a lot of shine. The transmission should make it slightly see through. What was the what was the other what was the other emote I was really excited about? Um, Simon didn't do a Brian Boy, did he? He did something else. I think he did one of the the modified Brian Boys, but I want a Brian Boy.
Is that still on? And I'll do the same. Uh, oh, let's, let's let's keep the alpha. Let's keep the alpha in. So I can kind of get that. Eek. Eh, eh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, let's separate color again. Get the saturation lightness. Take the hue and bump. And give myself some normals. It's <laughs> right next to the light. other one do Actually, there was one that I really liked from, from Joe that should probably be in there let's do this one Joe hypers where are you actually just looks good as it is. Doesn't need any shininess. Should probably give it a bit of transmission. No, oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's a bit... Eh. Just wish fulfillment for next year's decorations. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Uh, it looks, it looks, I like that one. I like that one. Alright, I suppose I should do some lights on the tree just because that's kind of a an important part of all this isn't it it's actually getting the lights on and tinsel Ugh. more hair i guess i guess i can do tinsel like the tree with more hair that'll work right they are actually kind of blurry now oh then again i'm zoomed in i shouldn't have to be zoomed in there yeah they look fine they look fine. No one's going to believe this is photorealistic anyway, because if it was a photo, that would mean that my decorations had been delivered. Uh, all right, let's make a string of lights. Uh, now this one I am going to do with geometry nodes. So let's start with a spiral. Ooh, ooh. That's not what I want. Um, Helix 3D. There we go. Uh, resolution. Much smaller resolution than that. Bezier. Uh, yeah, Bezier curves, so then they'll be smooth.
That did not adjust what I expected it to adjust. Uh, okay, so I'll start with it wide and then shrink it in a bit. Let's go another one. Let's go another one. Let's go 1080. Uh, And then I'm just going to have to scale it a little. <laughs> do it in a game engine, give everything away and have it interact. I can do that. I can do that in this. Um, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's necessarily going to collapse, but... I can do that. Let, let me add... Let me add a floor. And... Go through... What is it? Rigid body. You're going to be the floor. Let me just select everything else. And... Rigid body, add active. Now, boy, that floor is gross color. Gross colored floor. Uh, oh, it's better with the lighting. It's better with the lighting. Let's... I, you know, I've not found a good texture for, like, carpet. I'm sure there is one. Uh, not tangent, normal. everything out of glass um i can do that as well i don't i don't know if i can handle it i can handle the all right and let me just hide that uh and now if i hit play <laughs> that that was not what i expected to happen that was not what I expected to happen. <laughs> uh, why didn't you... Oh, you can't... Ah, oh, okay. Um, let's make you... Mesh, and we'll make the Merry Christmas a mesh. Is that tree okay? No, Mr. Mushi, I'm afraid the tree is not okay. Uh, where are you? Active rigid body, and and it's not okay because it's a one kilogram tree, which which is not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. Let's make it fifteen though, uh, and and it's got and each of these decorations is one kilogram, which is a bit over the top. Uh, so let's make them all a more realistic weight. And, and let's try again. Oh, there they all go. <laughs> they scattered. But the tree kind of stayed standing. So how about that? How about that? Uh, now I think convex hull is the wrong collision for that. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that in slow motion, so the tree bounces a bit. The decorations fall down, bounce a little. And then the tree falls through the floor. <laughs> You're right, the trunk collapsed. That's exactly what happened. Uh, Reddy's posting spoilers in chat. Uh, okay, anyway, I was about to do lights. About to do lights. Uh, and now what I'm hoping I can do with this is I'm gonna... Let's come over here and model an actual light. I'm 
So take that ring. Very small, no, not too small. Here we go, there's one Christmas light. One Christmas light. Let's see what happens if I smooth everything. Yeah, that kind of ruined it. Kind of ruined it. Um, let's... Increase all of these. What's the shortcut to zoom on the selected? There's one viewpoint, navigation, frame selected, dot. That's that's what I want. Uh, holder on the light separate for texturing. Yep. But I will do that with by by just assigning the material to the right spot. Did... There we go. Uh... Okay. And uh, shade smooth. Nice. And now if I pick all of those, if I pick all of them, selecting through. And add two materials, you can get the light sign. Uh, those are going to be tiny. Uh, I mean, it's fairly low resolution. Oh, it's, it's fairly low poly, at least. Uh, holder. But I mean, I'm not doing this. this, this is not rendering in real time, like this is, I'm doing a one-off picture, so it's fine, it's fine. Okay, and so now let's have a dark green holder, as is traditional, but not very shiny. And the light... Uh, I guess we're, we're going to emit light. Slightly yellowish. Ooh, what a gross color. So now if I turn that other light off, Are we getting any light from this at all? It's lighting up the surrounding a little bit. Set variables and have the lights alternate color. Yes, I can. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, but I can make it do that. Let's push that up. There we go. Now it's actually lighting up the tree. Lighting up. Wait, those, those do look good when they're lit up. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm just doing one of those for now. Uh, actually, maybe I need two of them. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out later. First things first. Uh, let's go to this geometry nodes. 
and do do a geometry nodes on here because what I want to get is get my points back and no, I want instances on points and I've gotten this to work once. Let's start with the collection actually, because if I do end up going multiple lights, then that will be a better one. What was that? That was the light, right? Uh, light in holder. Now we'll stick it in that collection. Now if I come back here and collection info. Lights, separate children. Now I do that. Has it Let's hide the tree? No, it has not done it. Did it not actually find points? It's definitely got points, right? Oh, it's control points. It's control points. Um, I need sample curve, don't I? Is that what I need? I think I want sample curve. Um... Now I've got to create points. Uh. Do I make a curve first? Oh, oh, that might be better. Let's take that. Let's give it... Uh... That, hopefully, is going to give me... What is that going to give me? That's going to give me a, a ton of curves now, right? A lot of points. Which rendered just the same. So it's kind of like... This whole thing is kind of like... Um, problem solving because you don't you you know you don't necessarily know what to do uh let's just let's just put these as the output for now and i'll bring the line back later and just to be just to be really really Oh, there we go. Okay. Getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Uh, that's that's a lot more that's a, that's a that's a lot more lights than I wanted. Yeah, this is this is the the more exciting Christmas than I expected. Uh, that's interesting difference. I wonder what that's for. Uh, okay. I also want I want to get that um. Of tangent, I think. Uh, is that going to? Oh, oh, there we go. That's. It's quite reasonable, really. It's quite reasonable. Um, okay, bring the scale down a bit. More lights. And and I actually want a vector math add will do. Does 
dodge that. That's rotated them the wrong way. Okay. That's probably it's probably it's probably pretty good. It's probably pretty good. Uh I do need to Squeeze these in a bit. Is there an easy, can I, what if I do this? No, it does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. tree back there are now lights in the tree they look a little bit weird they look a little bit um, they they they're not quite in the right spot but there are now lights in the tree And they're all on they're all on a string. They're all on that string, which as I move the string about the lights are gonna move around. So what I can do now, and I might need a bit more color here so I can see what's going on, is I can grab this. Grab these control points. And adjust where the lights go. And I've got the, the connected kind of flow thing on it. So as I drag one around, they all kind of follow a little bit. Probably okay. Uh, that's ah, that's all right. That's all right. Let's bring them all a little bit closer in. Okay, now uh, if I go back to these geometry nodes, oh boy, what a mess I have made. Uh, can I just swap that in there yet? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. It's changed everything a little bit, but there we go. Uh, okay, so that, let's just group that up and call that my lights. Uh, generate lights on curve. There we go. Uh, now I've got to actually generate the curve itself. So, curve to mesh. And we've got a join geometry. Gotta go in there as well. There we go. So now I have that line again. Um, and we'll give it Little curve circle. Big curve circle. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, there we go. Now that's going to run through the bottom of each light. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and I need a material for it. Let's... It's not a twisted strand. Oh. Uh, 
there is. So, so the thing is, this is definitely the way to do a twisted, a twisted strand. Uh, you would. Um, You'd be setting the curve tilt, I think. So, so you'd make so this is this circle is a profile. So it's it's made just like a circle, which then kind of infers the whole way along the curve. So if you make two, then it'll do two side by side. Um, I don't think I can just do that in here. I think I need to define the curve somewhere else and set it as an input. Uh, so so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's 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 keep ready happy, because. We're all about keeping people happy here. Curve. Uh, so yeah, I think if I start with... Probably got to start that way. And then if I duplicate that... And then... Put that there. <laughs> Not doing that part to make my life more miserable. Uh, I mean, look, if I wanted to be less, no, more miserable, I don't know. I, I, I could have just not streamed. I could have just not streamed. That was an option. Uh, okay. Twisted pair profile. So now in theory, in theory, and I say in theory because this is Blender and who knows what's going to happen. Uh, not compositing. There's my geometry nodes. Okay. So let's take that curve out. And... Hopefully, if I do... Twisted pair profile. There we go. Uh, the scale is a little bit off. But it is the pair. There you go. Um... Don't know how to fix the scale on that. Scale, scale elements. Curve. Uh, geometry transform. Does that have a scale in it? That has a scale in it. There we go. There we go. So now it's two little pairs. Let's make it a bit bigger than that. There we go. And to make it twisted. Hmm. I guess if I rotate it, that's just going to rotate the whole thing all at once. So there's got to be something in curve. There's got to be something in here. It's going to rotate. So, okay. So that sets the tilt for the whole thing. Uh, hmm. Sample curve. Oh, oh, this. Okay, this might be. Not, not at all useful. Not at all useful. Oh, relative. That's what I needed. So then I shouldn't need. 
shouldn't need that scale in there. Is that right? That. Uh, let's 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 go back to where that was, shall we? Uh, since I had that basically right, and then it changed. To find the tilt so it increases. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to be able to do. But this is where it gets kind of magic. So I don't know exactly what the selection applies to here, and the, it's never real clear. It's not very good at giving you the the inputs and things that you might need. Uh, so that one should be a boolean math. Interpolate domain. Retrieve values from a field. No. Accumulate field. Oh, that, that could be interesting. Um, you know what, I'm going to put the chunk back up so we can, so we can see if it makes a difference. Okay, and a group index, which means I want a curve. Uh, possibly if I get that. I still think that's just adding once. Index. So, so I need something, I need some kind of input in here for it to infer what its point is at. We get the radius at each point and add that up. Oh, hang on, point, point. Um, attribute on spline. Let's leave it small so it's... Setting that makes no difference. Okay. Uh, it should each have a radius, right? So in theory, it's like... Each one of these should... Um... Should trigger it to resample the new value in theory. Maybe if I curve to points first. That's how I did this, isn't it? Instances on points, subdivide curve. It's probably not how I should have done that one. Uh, break that for a sec. Okay, so that does what I expect. So that's going to... Uh, what if I just rotate the points? What if I... Geometry... Uh, 
No. So I want points to curve. Generate a point cloud. Oh, nice. Uh, not what I want. Not what I want. Curve. Mesh. Which paths to curves? Oh, that's that's cool, but it's not what I want. Uh. Form curves on surf. I don't even know what that does. Uh, don't set the material just yet. Okay, so that's just giving me points. Have a top bottom circle profile and have each follow the curve with a separate tilt. Um, hmm. I, I I I need the profile to rotate as it goes around. Uh, and I think if I do that, then I'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to get to firstly trying to get it to still do the rotation motion and then um trying to to get it to um to line up properly though though i did just have this idea because there is i get a curved spiral that's gonna that's gonna just make me a generic curve somewhere Can't see it. It's not actually making me a curve at all. Oh, there we go. That's just going to make me that kind of curve. So that's that's kind of close to what I want. And what I need to do is for each segment of the curve. Uh, so what have we got? So if I convert the curve to points, that's going to give me step by step each point around it. Uh, which I'm already doing. And that looks like that, except the points are big. So... Uh, and now I want to join up each of those points with the spiral. So how do I do that? Distribute points on points to vertices. Maybe. It's giving me the points at least. Um, what can I do? do? Profiles have bounding boxes or are they just the shape? Uh, I think they have. So I think I so I've set mine up offset from from home. But they do have they do have location in there, so you could have. I don't think they have a bounding box as such, but they do have a, a kind of a global offset that's going to be taken into account. Uh, so maybe I'm not. I think I think I know what you're getting at. I can't express it either. So yeah, maybe maybe um, edge paths to curves. I think this just takes me back to where I was. Not even. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Um, you know what? I I think I think I'm just gonna say we. The, it doesn't twist. It doesn't twist. It just doesn't twist. Um, let's curve to mesh. 
Where's, where's Curve to Mesh gone? I am going to set the material though. Does it mesh potato? <laughs> uh, okay, there's that and the lights are inside it. So let's bring back. Yeah, so that's if I do the relative. Come on, which I guess means... That's not quite the, the layout I expected. Oh, you know what I might be able to do? What I might be able to do... Uh, twist method. The up. Tangent. Can I maximize the twist? More, more twist. Well, I screwed it. I screwed it before the nodes. That's without geometry nodes at all. I don't even know what this effect does. I don't think that does anything like what I wanted it to do. Uh, I don't want to generate. I don't want to generate. Curve. No. No, don't want to curve. All right. You you can just stay as you are. I guess I'll leave you on original. Uh, and I will... That material there as well so that... Make it a similar kind of darkish green. And what I'm really hope I'm hoping to see a bit of transmission here, and I'm not. It should be shining through the bleb. Deliberately put one behind. Okay, let's let's turn this light even further down. Really, really small. And. Um, let's, let's make sure that's not going to render there. Uh, actually, I do want it for now. Even brighter. Even brighter. There we go. Now there's a bit of light shining through the bleb.
My tree is coming along. Um, okay. Let's do some tinsel because tinsel is the, the cheaty way to wrap up the tree. Uh, similar kind of thing. Similar kind of, of kind of spiral, I guess. Go that way instead. This one, uh, how do I do this? Do I need more geometry nodes? Uh, yeah, I do. And I'm going to, ooh. So we're gonna do another curve, we're working with the curve and it's gonna be, um, It's not going to be that. <clears throat> Spunk a bunch of Lametta on the tree to hide anything that needs hiding. What's Lametta? Is that... Oh, did I, did I just... <laughs> did, did I just fall for a Ligma? No? Okay. <laughs> Tinsel without the string. <laughs> Yeah, but I can make tinsel. I, I can make tinsel. I know how to make a tinsel. Because uh, I'm going to make a tinsel collection. Tinsel. And in here, we're going to do... Uh, one of these has got to be a good shape for it. Star. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. No, but actually what I want is mesh, single vertex, make a line there's my bit of tinsel and subdivide and then give it some hair not not that direction <laughs> not that direction outwards Outwards. Uh, maybe it actually just needs to be a whole cylinder first. Maybe. Uh, let's just make it a small cylinder. Filled caps. Okay, so now if I make this have hair. There we go. Uh, 
Let's go with 20, because there's going to be a lot of these. Interpolated children. Okay. That. So what I want to do with that now is um, instances on points. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Um, sample curve. Sample curve. No, that's not right. Curve to points. Okay, curve to points, then the points go to the points. And that becomes the geometry. And as an input, I'll grab my tinsel collection. And so far I get nothing. I do actually have geometry here, right? Yeah, it's control points, curve. I have to do that. Sometimes that collection thing works perfectly and sometimes it doesn't. And I've not figured out why. Oh, there we go. Okay. Maybe it was working, I just couldn't see it. Uh, okay. So that's that. And I want the length 0.01. There's, there is my tinsel. It might be too much. And this is where I need the curve tilt. Uh, or is it the tangent? I think it's the tangent. Uh, oh, already got the tangent. Uh, well, the, the rotation, the rotation, the right one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Now they're all kind of lining up. There's a little bit of little bit of connections, but. Does that look anything like tinsel? Where's my hair gone? Where's, where's... It's not, it's not, it's not done the, it's not done the tinsel hair. The... Uh... Oh, okay. So what I need is... You know what, it might be better doing this a different way. Let's... Let's take my bit of tinsel. Uh, and what do I want to do here? <laughs> tinsel will suffer a receding hairline. It's true. It's true. Uh, I want, I think, to just make this really long. That was not the scale that I wanted to scale. Okay, 
Now, one really long piece of tinsel. That needs subdividing. Quite a lot. And a lot more hair. Just submit from vertices. That better? That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good looking tinsel. It's pretty good looking tinsel. Uh, now, hopefully, I've not I've not played with this one too much, but I think um, curve is what I want here. Oh, it started off so well. It started off so well and then failed miserably. Why? Um Oh, because I didn't scale anywhere near long enough. When do I when do I add the sparkly balls? I know. They're coming. They're coming. Let's Let's do that. And then I'll just turn that off just to be safe. Okay, that's my tinsel. There we go. Now it's wrapped around the tree. And then it just kind of runs off into the... <laughs> runs off to the end of the world. Uh, here's my... All my zooming is a little bit messed up right now. World's longest strand of tinsel. Um, we'll go back to there. And scale it down a bit. Scale it up a bit. Scale it up a bit more. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. That's, looks like it's got just a little bit that's run off the end of the curve. Oh, no, that curve is just doing its own thing. <laughs> searching for another tree. Looks like I'm going to have to adjust it anyway as I make it longer or shorter. I feel like this one should make it a little more flexible. This <laughs> guy ever used for reproduction. Uh, look, don't don't deny the creativeness of of creatures with proboscis, Anka. Uh, 
I'm sure one of one of the internet rules will allow them to do it. They are now. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon now. You can't stop them. Also, welcome, Anka. You're, you're here as I'm mourning the loss of my decorations, so I'm I'm making better ones. Uh, and if I turn the particles back on, then I still have... And the tinsel can just fly off the back. That's that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. We definitely need... Sparklies. From my sky, just tentacles. I... Don't... I don't recall redeeming tentacle facts, but thank you. Um... It's rather white noise again. I really want to actually that for white noise that looks very pink. That's very very pink white noise. Uh, let's just do a color ramp instead. No. Okay. Color ramp, there it is. It's not, it's not really done anything much that I want, has it? Has it? Metallic, highly specular, not very rough. Many sparkles. My processor is working hard right now. Let's do a quick render. Look at that. What decorations that I bought and subsequently lost? I got about six or seven um, of the Yogscast decorations. A uh, couple of blebs, a couple of... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. Uh, the... what I got? I got Mango's one because the snail was really cool. Um, I think I got... I think Rillian had a cool one? I don't even remember now. I don't know. I just, I went through and got all the ones that looked cool. So. Uh, it's, 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 it's looking pretty good, actually. Um, there might be a few too many lights on it, but I'm not unhappy with how it looks. Let's just, um, uh, actually, I can, if I do that, and then if I do that, then if I come here, I can adjust the frequency of the lights. And if I can figure out how to get them rotate randomly, then I could also do the twisted cable. And as we know, I can do neither of them, so they're not going to rotate randomly. Um, all right, let's... Let's shuffle this helix around a bit. This is nice music. This is nice. This, this is nice. You know what? I think that might almost be enough. Oh, I've got to do a few sparkly walls but what I'm 
also gonna do. Is this Old Lang Zion? It is! Oh! This is be Where, where's this one? Where's this one? How do I favorite this? There it is. Mic to that. What a nice version of it. Um. Uh, not a Christmas song. It's no, it's not a Christmas song, but whatever. Whatever. It's a good song. Um, let's make a back wall. So done with Christmas songs. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, why is... Uh, fireplace? Can I have a nice fireplace picture? I make that my background? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, this is this is my room now. This is my room. Um is that gonna be I don't know where that's saved. I'll find it and move it somewhere. Safe for stream. Saved in the special pictures folder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't. I have no idea where it's saved to. Um, but it's in here with all the other Blender stuff now. So, oh, well, there's a spoiler that nobody ever saw. <laughs> Accounting documents. <laughs> it automatically saved to my rooms folder. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's. Get a bit of a UV edit on. So you've got to come down because you're not sealing. Can't see the fireplace. Fireplace is what I wanted. Um, let's let's move the camera. I think I already moved the camera. <laughs> you can see the bit of tinsel sticking out. <laughs> uh, is that the same? Ro no, no rooms get paid for having photos taken, Anka. No, no, nobody, nobody pays the room for photos. It's just not the way these things are done. Ah, <laughs> I keep keep relocating the camera around when I'm not meaning to. It's 
get to there. Now, stop moving the camera. Uh, okay. I do want to rotate the tree a little bit. Hopefully. That was actually, uh, that was, that, that was almost kind of funny. Let's make that a passive one. Everything just kind of falls off it. Oh, actually, here's an idea. What if, um, what if I make this a soft body? Is that going to break everything? Am I crashing now? This is going to have to work way too hard for the simulation. Oh boy. <laughs> it's not actually performing everything else. Let's do that first. When do the tires descend from the sky? Um, that's a, that's a New Year's thing, isn't it? This is this is this simulation is a bit too much work for it. What I was hoping is to make the the cables a soft body. So, so they can deform. Um, oh, oh, that's what I did wrong. Let's, let's not, let's not soft body that. We want to soft body the helix. So now, in theory, that shouldn't fall through the tree. Don't, please, don't fall through the tree. Um. Need another collection for collision objects. Oh, can the tree not? Um, tree. Also collision. Okay. Just fall straight through. Just fall straight through. If I take that off, what happens then? It kind of drapes. It kind of drapes a bit. Uh, let's do a lot more damping. See, and then if I only go that far. Clearly I haven't put the tinsel on very well because it just falls off. Just immediately falls off. Still, that's cool that this works. Let's do it over here as well. Um, soft body. No need for goal or edges. Make sure that that's first. Reduce the weight. That that might be a good point, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put that, get out of there. You can go into the tinsel though, because you're part of the tinsel. Okay. Object. It's a one kilogram worth of tinsel. It's like that that shouldn't be too heavy. Uh, oh, actually, is this going to be mass for each point, or is it for the whole thing?
Might not be enough mass there. It is actually draping though. That's pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting to get to like realistic, realistic physics simulation of the decorations on my tree, but hey, here we are. Just gonna decorate a random plant in the house instead of a pine tree that gets discarded to exact. I have a plastic pl pine tree that just gets locked back up in the roof. Um. After two, it's probably by the end of January, honestly, because it's gone to that much trouble to put it up. It may as well stay up. Uh, I'm totally expecting <laughs> realistic physics sim. Uh, yeah, you're also going to be very upset when you realize that the, the cables aren't twisted properly between the lights. Uh, there is a pair. There's a pair of cables running between the lights, but it's not twisted. So, sorry. I, I gave it a little bit of a go. It just didn't work out. <laughs> uh, you can't get realistic physics when it's not realistically twisted. Uh, I thought you knew this. This is why you're asking for it, right? Kind of trying to make sure that it's sitting up on top of bits, that it's not going to just fall through. Twitch. <laughs> we are twisting physics. Uh, yes. That one seems to be staying put. What happened there? Oh, it's because I'm still in edit mode. The motion blur. The motion blur as it goes falling. <laughs> I like how the lights are unwinding. There goes the joy. Yeah, uh, it's all gone. It's all gone. The bleb is flying away. Uh, to be fair, none of these have loops on them, so they're not like they're they're not looped around the branch at all. They're just kind of sitting there. Uh, anyway, that was not. All that I want to do here. I want to make a fire. Uh, make a fire this way. Make a fire the easy way. That said Welsh. <laughs> okay, let's get. Uh, I think Veroni is a good texture for this one. And then, color ramp. time attribute here? No, okay, well. Put value.
We get a bit of fire movement. that in for a float curve as well. Map range. There we go. That's that's not a bad fake fire for very very little effort. Uh, and the lights and the tinsel all looks kind of weird now. And oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I think I think that I think that makes up for me not getting my decorations. Uh, oh no! The big shiny walls. The big shiny walls. I promised. I promised. Big shiny balls. It's Garland. <laughs> it's Tinsel. It's Tinsel. Gar Garland is, is is Judy. Only Judy gets that name. Uh, let's let's move Judy up a little bit higher on this branch. Okay, balls with kielbasa on the tree. Lovely, lovely. All right, uh, start with the sphere. There is ball number one. Let's shrink it down a bit. Garland is a strand, so tinsel can be garland. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Honey, honey Jesus is going atop the tree. Uh, I'm going to have to model that, aren't I? I'm going to have to model. Oof, oof, let's not do that. there. Go. Uh, and two materials. Oh, top. Shiny ball, probably going to be red. Uh, there's no lights in here, are there? OK. 
Okay. Definitely not a blue ball. No, no blue balls here. Ha ha ha. Uh, we'll go metallic again. And. Do this color ramp again. It's not going to render properly. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. That, that is so much better than I expected. It is so much better than I expected. Uh, that one can be fairly rough. Let's get out of that view for now. And I guess we'll make some blue. No. Not blue, we said no blue. Green. Green. Green one. Uh, yeah, you'll do. You'll do. Um, I want... Duplicate that one. Shiny ball. Green. White? Oh, I kind of like the cyan. Yellow? Uh, purple? Purple? Glop. Glop colored. You, you did me a promoting honey cord. Oh, great. That means I'm going to have to do the, the the honey Jesus now, aren't I? Not promoting. Eh. Uh, I just came here to chill. I think that one's in a bit of a weird spot, isn't it? Because that's not... It's not on a branch. It's just hanging in midair. That's you. Are you on a branch? I'm not on a branch. Go down here on the one next to the joy. You're almost on a branch. Oh, I've got to do a quick render with those in. It feels very dark now. I think that's probably okay because the background is just a flat picture, so... Probably best if that stays a little bit dark. Just enjoying this for a minute. Uh, okay. I think I do want to... I know everyone's going to be mad about this, but I'm going to... Um, <laughs> I want to remove all of the physics. <laughs> I'm going to remove all of the physics. I'm sorry. Uh... All the hard bodies, all the soft bodies, all the rigid bodies. No more physics. Uh, 
Come on, tinsel physics, I know you're in there somewhere. There you are. Uh, what else has got... Those have still got physics. Yeah, no more physics, but now there is now the fire is going to move. So that's what I want to have. Something is still moving there. Oh right, there's there's hair physics. <laughs> there's hair physics. So the hair is all gonna shake a little bit in the tree. Uh, and then maybe I can get a nice little camera movement. Let's just add. Okay. Let's bring that up to math animation, definitely going to clamp, and there's 250 frames. target point for to look at track to that empty man she got the stickers sent excellent excellent everyone who got stickers is going to have a Great. Uh, it's very much going to enjoy those, I hope. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> now see them get lost in the mail as well. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, probably. Probably. Subdivide that up. Uh, I haven't gotten to see them from the print shop yet. Oh, uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, let's bring this down to 3D, and I'm going to use, um, what do I need? Need a combine X, Y, Z, that'll go into Z, and text coordinates, separate. Now that, yeah, it's not the best fire, it's not the best fire. Um, I can probably also, um, let's move all of that a little way out. Um, let's also add... Gradient texture, spherical. Um, that's not where I want that. I want that. Oh, I did not want that there. Okay, but it's our fire. Exactly. We have a fire at home. 
and it's this file. Um, actually, that might be, might just work. Um, now we do a multiply against you. Now, in theory, there is a point where there is a center sphere, in theory. Why is that scaling doing nothing? Oh, it's because the vector is not set to anything. I do need... Um, there we go. There's definitely a sphere-ish in there. Gonna just let it be a bit hotter at the bottom than at the top. I feel like that is doing weird things. Yeah. And where's my shader editor gone? Texture and shader editor. Is that oh because the emission strength oh it's the emission strength where I need it need it in both why is that still textured that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be textured at all. That should just be... Straight. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's, let's take the UV on that one. Now we can actually see the sphere. So we want that to be the hot bit. Now when I multiply that in, ah, oh, look at that, that's brilliant. And let's also grab that and put it as not transmission, I think. No, transmission can just stay at a one. Ah, uh, it's transmission doesn't matter. There's no light behind it anyway. Um, uh, yeah, that'll that'll do. That'll do. It's fiery enough. Really, just after the very slightest kind of movement. And yeah, Honey Jesus is not on top. So we're going to have to angle up just a bit more. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe we start low. And then by the end, we've also angled up. Take in the, the full glory of what has been done here.
And let's just push out the length. It's another 10 frames on that. No, another 5 seconds is 120, so that's 370 frames. So hopefully we'll we'll stop and then sit still for Nice. I don't think that's intentional motion blur yet. There will be. There will be when it actually runs. Uh, but right now that's just rendering lag, making it seem to blur. Uh, Alright. Honey Jesus. I need, I need it. Someone post me a Honey Jesus. Actually, that's not true. I copied it before. Uh, post a Honey Jesus anyway. Kesis. to do here I'm gonna try and be clever I'm try and be clever uh, too much where's my there it is Yep, bit of a bulge. Bit of a bulge. Uh, actually, I probably don't want to angle him like that at all, do I? Check shade smooth. Uh, probably need to do that proper interpolation on all of these guys, don't I? Is that gonna work okay? Yeah, and just kind of zoom back out and, and look up and there is uh, baby Jesus on top of the tree. Uh, looks like we're not quite going to get high enough to see the ring. The actual, the actual um, keyframe, not the accidental one. Yoran, hello Yoran. Uh, we are. I I am having my Christmas party right now. You're more than welcome to join, because it is not at all exclusive to anyone whatsoever. So mostly I'm just feeling bad about not having gotten my actual Yogscast decorations. Um, and so I'm making my own. And I think I'm pretty much done. I think I'm pretty well done. It's going to take a while to render all this. Man, it looks better in the dark. It looks so much better all dark, doesn't it?
That tinsel is going weird again. <laughs> What is tinsel? Uh, garland, apparently, in in some cultures, some some names. Uh, it's it's this white stuff wrapped around the tree, which is actually kind of meant to be silver, but silver and sparkly. Oop, thud, thud, thud. Sorry about that. Uh, and I guess if I am gonna... I guess I'm gonna have to make the lights flash, aren't I? And and probably not let the tree stick straight through Hornsby like that, because poor Hornsby. That's the one sticking right through him, yeah? Okay, good. Not that I think you'll ever see that, but canonically, that that branch is now holding Hornsby up. And so he stays there. It's official. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make the lights flash. I have no excuse now because I have pretty animation going on. Uh, okay, how do I do that? Where even are my lights? Honestly, it's probably easiest to do it in here. Uh, yeah, it's in the light. So if I turn that to zero, then it goes off. And so I need a value. And I also need some kind of random randomness. Um, let's random per island. Oh, is that going to work? Is that going to work? They they all look pretty much the same, don't they? Might not see it, but we'll know. Yes, we will all know. Hey there, Ciro, by the way. Didn't see you come in. How long have you been in here for? Uh, hmm. So the problem with the geometry node is because there's only one... There's only one light. To make them flash on and off at different times is not so easy. Um... Uh, Random per island only works in cycles, so I am in cycles. Um, but they're not actually islands, and I don't think that is going to do the right thing for me anyway. So... What I need is... Um, let me take a float curve. No, not a float curve. Take a... Uh, What's the good... It is float curve. I need, yeah, so I need float curve and a map range. So I think what's probably going to be easiest to do is... Um is keyframe it. Whoo, look at that. So bright. Uh, and I want it to be a quick transition. Uh, 
and let's run it through sign. Take a, actually, how do I split this? Uh, ah. I've had it up. Let's make it a straight line. Very fast flashing, so probably 300 is too many. Let's go. Okay, so all the lights flash, all together. Um, I think in this version, I think in this version, I can, um, is that my, I should really have named some of these. I think I can assign an attribute. I can store a named attribute. Um, I think means can I store a separate named attribute on each instance? There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, and that's just going to be called offset and instance we get an instance index? I think I think I might. Can I assign? This is quickly becoming the biggest brain thing I've ever done. Uh, attribute will be geometry attribute offset. I'm um, going to need a add. That's how this works, right? It's not how it works. It's not. It's not how it works. Uh, maybe it's going on the object instancer. Yeah, two materials. Were, well, yeah, either two materials or three materials to get. I, I don't really like the flash, 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 flash ones. That was my fallback. I was hoping I'd be able to do it through the through assigning an, an instance attribute, but that should work, right? To the instance, those are still instances. Yeah, oh well. One day I'll figure out all the stuff you can do with that. Until then, uh, did I get that working with the collection? Okay, let's, I'm gonna need this to work with the collection now. So, uh, input collection info, lights, not that one, that one was fine as it is, because that is my not twisted, but yeah, Zero, so if you'd been here earlier then I might have spent more time and gotten some help on, um, oh it is a collection, excellent, uh, spent some more time getting some help on taking this Paired wire, which you can see is, it's a pair. It's been very, very flattened. When did I do that? Uh, anyway, take that, wherever that curve is, this twisted pair profile. Uh, boy, that really got turned around. Uh, oh, maybe that's why it got so weird.
flat cable. Yeah, no, I was trying to, I was trying to adjust because it's just, it's a, like, this is the profile curve for the Bezier. And so I was just trying to get it to tilt constantly. And so it would appear twisted, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Let's try to straighten that up. Oh boy, that is... To <laughs> I don't know what's happened to that now. Uh... There's a, there's a scale factor in here somewhere. That'll do. It can be like that. Save it just to have it like spiral the whole way along. Would have been cool. Would have been cool. Too hard for me. Too hard for me. Okay. Back to my light and my holder. Uh, let's... Make another two. Oh. Um, I, oh, actually, no, that was that was all right. We'll take that attribute from the object. So then I can just do it here. Should have done this before I copied it. Wait, why did they? Oh, they all went because they're not all being selected. Uh, okay, let me... That's... No, they should be... Should be, shouldn't they? That should already be selecting... Each one, right? Uh... Let's just copy the properties over. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at him go. Oh, you know what I can also do now? I can... Ah, uh, no. Hey. I can add that bit of rotation that I wanted. Back kind of on the wire ish. It's pretty close. Why is it not showing any intersect marks with? I like how the victory music came on just as I made things work. Feels good. Uh-oh. What's... I think they need a bit more... A bit more offset. Check the origin points of the lights. Uh, that's a good point. That's... Let's just uh, let's just put all the origin in the volume, and then I can just do a transform. Okay. 
Uh, actually, let's let's do it this way. Perfect. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful. Thank you for that. I forgot about that one. Uh, Alright, let's fix up these offsets as well. So that... Uh, zero. Two. Oh, that's why they're... That's why they're not going that far. There we go. Twinkle, twinkle. It's coming together. It's coming together. Looks like the tree is still sticking through Hornsby a little bit. Uh, it's looking good though. It's looking good. Let's make a little bit more tweak for poor old Hornsby here. Never gonna see it. Never gonna see it. I don't know why this one isn't under Christmas. It does not deserve to be here. What's it even called? Could we fall in love Instrument. Oh, this is there's a there's a version with vocals. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm well into the Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam playlist now. Uh. One last check of this final frame, and then I think I'm gonna set this rendering and go and go and have dinner because if this if this is taking about 25 seconds a frame and there's 370 frames that's more time than I'm going to sit here on stream doing after that last stream where I'm like yeah I'll just export this hour of audio it'll be fine no that was boring that was boring uh so yeah I I think this is where I call it uh, and watch out on all of your favorite discords. Um, I'll post it in Uncas, I'll post it in Joe's, I'll post it in, um, in Simon's. When it's done rendering. In a couple of hours. So, thanks for coming and hanging out. Let's jam out to the music for a little bit. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.